Hey everybody, it's T Blue Mine here. Welcome back to Seven Nights, and today is Seven Nights update May June first. Now, guys, summer is coming up, so hopefully you guys will enjoy your summer. And it's like several weeks of graduation for you guys. So hopefully you guys got your good graduations. And once the summer, there's going to be new YouTube videos coming up for those who are in school. Or anything. But me, I'm just home. But anyway, let's get to the update. Now, a major update is planning for upcoming Sunday, which I'm really excited for. And note, there's a check-in event. And guys, Belesta is finally is at normal Waken Selector. So, go crazy at her. She is very useful in Arena. And guys, what's best is the four hit master selector so if you guys got miho or clan to raise up these are your friend and for myself i got myself a clan hand from a four or six star yesterday so i was pretty excited and there's a four star seven night pet selector which is and then the Empress weapon and then there's a plus three you get three of those and there's also a seven night selector so if you guys are going for the lance go right ahead or whatever but personally I'm gonna go for Chris so Chris is gonna get awakened pretty darn soon and there's a four hero selector, which we'll go for. Yeah, we put me here for a selector. So Nanaba, wait, 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 wait. What? To push Berber, guys, can you not believe it? Now Clan Han and Miho are in. Day reward. Very excited. I'm definitely gonna get mines pretty soon. And here are the Crusaders remake. Now for we're gonna go over that, but we're not gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about that once I get there. And new pets have finally been released. Feels so good. This free mode. I'm definitely gonna be more welcome to look over this. And new awakening costume. We got Miho. I know. We're not going to talk about that. I personally don't like it. As for that, they're really expensive. I highly recommend not to purchase. But I highly recommend you purchase the Maze Lucky Gift. That's pretty much. Alright. As for the notifying. A very special major update. Finally, this game's finally come. And it's gonna come next Thursday anyway, so. But here you guys are. Here's the symbol for the Hidden Master Selector. Everybody's died for this. And I actually died for this as well. So. I'm going for Clan Hand. I'm going for Miho because 
Miho is very good also. As you can see, got my client hand and he's back in the arena. I'm gonna make a tryout for him. Yeah, I got my Velasa producing. But I should be able to get her level 36. No. Yeah, level 36. No, level 38 because I'm working on this Velasa. Once I get these. Once I get those. Um, the five elements. But anyway, let's look good for the wrong um, button. All right, now let's look over those. We're looking for her remake. <laughs> now her remake, which I have noticed, is her. As for the rich, so here's the changes. And there's no piercing, so she's gonna be doomed. But the changes increase critical of all allies by 60%, really good. But still, in inflicts the daily dungeon, decrease defense by 65%. Not I can say. This moves haven't changed. Still the same. This one still the same. And these are still the same, so uh, that's why I know. But as for Esperda, I found this really interesting. Here you guys are. Finally Oh no no no. Reduce the magic damage while allies blocks will take a thing. Increase lethal attacks. But here's the better part. Protects all allies from bleeding for six turns. Finally. So guys, go get her awakened. Now she's worthy. But I get but I have my Esperter at level 34, so it's gonna take a while to get up to level 30. To get some waking shards. But these. Still haven't changed. But here's the difference. I know it's all piercing attacks. But here's the difference. Decrease cools downs by 40 seconds in his mode. 40 seconds guys. Really awesome. So I got a combination for that. Now here attacks on one enemy decreases the enemy, increases the receive for four turns. It's a much better version of it. Alright. Just making sure. Alright. For world boss, not gonna do that because it's gonna be wasting time. Now, here's the strategy. Um, you can go for Jupy or Waking Chain, but this one's for two turns, but that's not good. But Here's a strategy. Shane or Jupy Esperda Um Karma and also you got Jake and who else? So you get Esperda Jake um Karma. I 
I don't think it's something else. That's pretty much. I know, but if I able to make a review for it. But yeah. Oh, if you guys are wondering. This is going to be a mystery special hero selector. So that means a new hero is going to be released. That's how I believe. So yeah. Oh yeah, as for the costume. Fire. Well, uh, I do not like it, that costume. Speed Racer. I like this costume. I think I'm gonna purchase it. Just because I got myself a claw hand. Now he's very good in a meta. I'll get him once I raise up. And also, I'm gonna get Ballesta as well, if I can. So, yes. But yes. Oh. And I'm still doing Tick's event. It's gonna last to the next update. So, that's pretty much it for this update. Thumbs up if you like this video. Follow me on my social medias, Twitter and Instagram. Mostly Twitter. Follow me there. The links is going to be in the description below. So go ahead and follow me there if you have any questions. See you guys in the next video. Peace out. Eat. I just forgot. I almost forgot before I'm about to end this. I forgot about the normal pet select. Forgot about the normal pet. Sorry about that. Here's what the normal pet's about increased physical and magic damage all allies, but usually in Tower of Abyss mode. Forgot. And here are the new ones magic. Now this one's using raid mode, increase magic attacks and damage all allies by 20%. Well, not that much. But here's what's better. Here's what's better, guys. Decrease skill cooldown of all allies by 10%. So, this pet's very useful. Alright, now I ask for, for Crusaders. Wow, Shane got really cat. Now this is good for Shane. Increase it in raid dungeon mode. Increase physical damage and damage. Of all allies by 20%. So, this one's very good. For my opinion. If you got lucky getting her, I could recommend getting pets. Now to here, we have the scary friends, which are special. Okay, increase magic damage of all allies by 12% and increase crit rate by our allies but 12% so if you guys are doing magic team go right ahead that's for a magic team this one is for a this one's for a physical deck when I increases physical and crit rate for all allies by 12% very good 
Indeed. Bigfoot. <laughs> He's like Bigfoot. <laughs> but here, increase block rate of our allies, but increase damage reducing our allies. So, if you guys go in for defensive, this is your tank. And here's the last one. Increase damage of all allies by 10% and increase black white. Also for defenses as well. Alright. Before I miss anything. I think we're all good. Alright guys. Now peace out and see you guys in the next video. Subscribe to Cube Woman for more 7 Nights and other gaming videos.